Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and today we're going to be starting up a new series, playing Jurassic World Evolution. Now, this is a theme park simulator from Frontier Entertainment, I believe, is the developer. Set in the Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park universe, where you need to manage parks that have you know the genetically engineered dinosaurs from the jurassic park and jurassic world franchise and try and successfully build these parks um make a good profit you know and you know manage the various divisions of you know the you know the, the company that we're working for and you know to keep the sabotage to a minimum and also make sure that the animals um are kept away from the visitors as much as possible so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now i actually have played the main campaign of this game before back when the game first released uh but in the intervening time since the original release, several new DLCs have come out and updates and everything. So there have been major changes to the main campaign. There's also two new campaigns that have been added for you know, Clara's Sanctuary and Return of Jurassic Park. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try and play through all of these different campaigns and everything and uh, see how it all goes. So let's go ahead and hop into the campaign. We're going to be doing Jurassic World Evolution main campaign. And yeah, all the save data will be overwritten. I don't care about that because that's old. So go ahead and hit OK. Hello. May I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well... Correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. And I do have all of the licensed music turned off to avoid copyright issues. I'm Cabot Finch, Public Relations and Crisis Management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. Okay. Bunch of stuff unlocked from DLCs, Raptor Squad Skin Collection, new cosmetic genes available, cosmetic gene application. Okay. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, we also have new guest and need buildings. Silverini is now fitted by restroom coverage. Okay, that's new, at least since I last played. Alright, and increase the number of staff in a restroom, increase the number of guests it can satisfy, increasing and increases running cost. Okay. And actually, one thing I want to go in here is get in my audio settings because the main volume is a little low. We'll turn the music volume down a tad, even though there really isn't any music right now. Voice volume is maxed out. Read mute non-voice audio during conversations. No, I'm not worried about that. Okay. Just want to make sure that's right because it was sounding a little quiet to me. So hopefully that helps. All right, so we need to build a Hammond Creation Lab. So let's go ahead and do that. And it needs to be attached to the wall and within range of the power substation. So there you go. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, 
Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Right, this is Isla Matanceros. To connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power right. grid. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Previously, paths. I have to remember how to do this. <laughs> there you go. Now okay. comes the real test. Incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. All right, first dinosaur is going to be a Struthiomimus. They're pretty much giant chickens. All right, we're going to incubate one. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. And a next. Alright, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab two of those to get started. Alright, it's done. Go ahead and release it. It begins the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. Alright, so let's go ahead and release the other one. So that it has a friend. Oh, no, game's not letting me. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team choose one of their contracts it'll help you develop your facility all right choose a first contract i think we're gonna go with science dr kajal dua ah dr dua this is our new director of operations i'm aware cabot i'm dr dua i run the science division of our operation okay you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. All right, so we're gonna need to build, connect, and power an expedition center. Easy peasy. All right, go ahead and accept that. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. And it's probably not going to let me do anything until I've actually done that. Okay. So here's the expedition center, and I need to figure out where I want to put this. Now, I did enable the contours during construction so that I can get a better view of what things look like. Now, I'd like to tuck this away somewhere, but... I don't remember where I used to do this, and I... What are my rotation controls? Okay, there we are. Z and X. Alright, well, for now, what I'm gonna have to do is just kinda stick it down here, and, uh, call that good, I guess, at the bottom of this hill. Let's, uh, line it to the road. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just... plop it right on the road there. So, one more thing. Your reputation. A path? Your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. 
Yep, that's the balance we're going to have to strike. Let's make sure that uh, everybody's happy. Still won't let me get into the creation lab and release the other Struthy. People think money makes the world go around, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. There we go. Let's get that other strut released. And there it is. Okay. Now, we do need to get this... Astruthio Mimus. Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. Alright, we got a transmission incoming. All right, mission. I've got an interesting Acquire a 50% genome for a triceratops. All right. to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. Well, for one thing, I need to go ahead and make sure that our... Struthiomimus here can eat. Because right now, they I don't have any kind of... Uh, Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and give them a feeder. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. We have ACU Better Center, but we do not have a ranger station built yet. Okay, we're going to need a ranger station. I'm going to get the major facilities installed and running. Um, toggle snap. Yeah, that doesn't really help me at all. Um, I'm going to try and get this lined up as best I can. There we go. 400,000. Hit it. I don't think I'm going to worry about the ACU right now. All I've got is a couple of oversized chickens, so I'm not too worried about things trying to escape. But one thing we are going to need is a viewing gallery so that our guests can actually see our dinos. So let's go ahead and get that in there with the feeder in view. path is connected and we're going to need a substation here. Connected to the power grid. Okay, so this is the fossil center where we can the fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! Thank you, Finch. All right. So there we go. There should be something in here already, which we do. We have some Struthiomimus stuff. So go ahead and hit it. Looks like we have some Triceratops stuff in there. We have some Ed uh, Edmontosaurus. And some Ceratosaurus stuff in there as well. Alright. So I don't think we actually need to run an expedition just yet until all that finishes. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Okay, that's a research center. Oh, one thing I forgot about the, the enclosure we currently have is it needs... No, no, there is a gate. Okay. It's like our, our rangers are going to need a gate to get in there. An expedition center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. Okay, so I just want to go ahead and get through all of these uh, tutorial messages about the buildings.
Ranger Station. Okay, so there isn't anything here. Uh, do I want to keep this skin? Um, yeah, I think that should be fine for now. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Okay, yeah, so he's all about weaponizing the dinosaurs. All right, so we need to use an expedition center to unearth a carnivore fo carnivore fossil. I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. All right. Each new discovery furthers our understanding. It's valuable work. Take it. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run an expedition. And we're going to go ahead and unlock some Ceratosaurus fossils. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Yes. Alright, so what do we have here as far as research? First thing I usually like to go for is medical treatment. Hookworm parasite. The job is simple, really. Yeah, go ahead and research Create that. dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Alright, I may actually want to do some landscaping work here in a little bit. I want to flatten out this little hill. There we go. That ought to do. One thing I would really like to do is basically flatten the entire map, but uh, that's just not going to be practical to do right now. Alright, so that's the size of the enclosure. This is the area we have to build. Alright. I do need to get an ACU center down somewhere. Sneaking some stuff in bear behind this enclosure might not be a bad idea. But what I'm probably going to do is just get rid of this path here and the way it, uh, it's laid out. That's not very useful for me right now. Okay, that can stay there. Alright, so ACU center is going to be here, because I want to get some Ceratosaurus in the park, because they tend to be kind of big ticket items to bring in a lot of visitors. Alright, there we go. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Security requires vigilance okay, and commitment we don't have to the task power. At hand. You've proven yourself at that. Okay. It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. Yes, 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 yes. I know. Um, do I have the ability... Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once-over, then... 
Let me know if you're interested. They want to acquire the 50% of the Edmontosaurus genome. Okay. No, 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 no. Not right now. We will get to you later. I do need to take a contract from the entertainment division. Hey, I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Okay, but right now we need another power station. And I think that this is probably the best place to put it. Oh, we need to get it away from that substation. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it, it diverted the power to the ACU center and away from the exhibition center since the ACU is more critical to the functioning of the park than the expedition center is. All right, let's see what kind of fossils we got. We got some Ceratosaurus. Go ahead and grab it. We got some more Ceratosaurus, and we got a, some silver, which we don't need, so we'll just sell it. And they want me to successfully incubate a small herbivore, which should be simple enough. We'll just do another Struthiomimus. All right. Now, I guess one thing I wanted to uh, should mention is oh, power output. Okay. Yeah, I know we're we're short on power. All right, we have the Ceratosaurus as a new viable genome, but I want to get that a little bit higher than what we currently have it. Okay, so as I was mentioning, what the plan for how we're gonna play this series is that we are going to stick with each park until I have achieved a five-star rating for the park as a whole. That's what I like about you. You get results. Okay. I must be ready to release. I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Okay, so I got another Struthiomimus, got another transmission incoming. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? Okay. I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. My nope. We are working on the science mission right now first. We need some more uh, Triceratops genome. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit the lands formation, which can get us some... At Three words. Contract you, yes. We're going to hold off on that for now. All right. So we don't... I, I don't I even have an enclosure built for the Ceratosaurus yet. Okay, so this will get us Edmontosaurus, Triceratops, and Struthiomimus, potentially, so we'll go ahead and send that out, and bring that in. So, I do need to begin preparing an area for... Ceratosaurus, so we can keep those separate from our herbivores, obviously. Running costs. Profit per minute is at $1,500, which is not a lot. Okay. I could use some facilities here, like a fast food restaurant would not be a bad idea. Let's go ahead and drop that in.
Now, what I'm thinking is I'm going to want to probably do that around here for our Ceratosaurus enclosure. But we're going to need to get rid of some trees. We're going to need to build some fence. Probably clear some water. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Let's go ahead and boost it up to Dino Feast, maybe. And then let's sell it for... What's going to get us our best profit per minute? Apparently $29. Alright, that gives us $88 per minute from our current guest count. And that is the sound of the helicopter arriving with some fossils that we can extract. Alright, so we got some Triceratops and some Edmontosaurus. Let's go ahead and extract those. That should hopefully get us the 50% genome we need for the Triceratops. Though that is only a one-star fossil, so... Not great. Let's see if we can get some more of the Ceratosaurus. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous, and I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. Okay, so we need to incubate a Triceratops. I don't think there's any modifications I can make. I can give an arid pattern. You know, I probably need to keep this as cheap as I can get. Because this is already going to be like a 50-50 shot that we're even going to get this thing. Let's go ahead and incubate it and let's see if it succeeds. All right, profit minute is at $5,300. That's not bad. Dinosaur visibility is high. Right now, my dino rating is pretty low because we have poor variety, because we only have one type of dinosaur in the park right now. Um, what is the issue with the facilities right now? Food rating is low, drink rating is low, fun rating is low, shopping rating is at zero. Restroom rating is at zero. Well, now that we actually have a fast food restaurant, we probably want to get a restroom in here somewhere. That's that's basically a brand new thing. Oh, let's just drop that in. Now, as I was saying, I want to go, I want to five star each island before I move on to the next island. Though you can move on to the next island before you five star each island. Um, but it actually is possible to five star before moving on. But it is a little bit tricky on the first island because you don't have a lot of dinosaurs to work with. So, and you don't have very good high value dinosaurs to work with to get that rating up. Alright. Triceratops is ready. Let's go ahead and release it. A new toilet facility has been added to your comfort and convenience. Uh, 
Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. Okay, so we have our Triceratops here. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. Okay. All right, so everything should be good as far as how much grassland, forest, and wetland is available. Population it could use a friend, but doesn't need one necessarily. Come up that could be interesting. Increase the dinosaur genome to at least sixty percent. Yes, that's fine. All right, so now we need to incubate and release a Triceratops with at least seventy percent genome, which means we're gonna need some work. All right, let's um. Is there anywhere where we can get just Triceratops? Yes, right there. Go ahead and get it. Alright, we have no fossils. And the money is a bit short. So building a new enclosure is not a thing we can really do right now. So we're just going to have to work with what we have. So... Primarily just our herbivores is the word I'm looking for. I could incubate an Edmontosaurus, but I'm actually going to hold off on that just yet. Can I request another contract? Let's request a security contract. Let's see what we get. This contract has just come in. Use the expedition center to unearth a carnivore fossil. You know, we'll go ahead and accept that. We'll have to wait until the current expedition is done before we go ahead and do that one. Two minutes remaining in the Hell Creek formation. Ceratosaurus. Let's see, how much does that cost? $90,000. 75000 75000 Kind of do have to be a bit conscious with our money because it is running a tad low. We're up to $32,000 per minute of profit. It's not bad. Uh, facility rating is at uh, a little over four stars. Great capacity. Okay, satisfaction, because we got our restrooms up. We do need to add some shopping, which means we need like a gift shop or something like that. We'll have to think about that later, most likely. Okay, so there are our Triceratops fossils, hopefully. Yes, a couple of low-quality ones. That's not great. We got an amphibian fossil. We don't need to sell it. And we got some Rhinium. Go ahead and sell that. Don't need that. And to fulfill our contract, we're going to go ahead and get some more Ceratosaurus fossils. And we're going to naturally increase a genome to 60% as we try to get our Triceratops to 70. But I don't think that these fossils are going to be sufficient to get us there on their own. No, we're at the 52%. So this is probably going to give me another 2%, so we're going to get to 54%. Alright then. The $461,000. You know what I could do? 
We could get an Edmontosaurus. They're not expensive. They will increase our variety. Let's go ahead and do it. Incubate one. They're basically the dinosaur equivalent of a cow, so they're not that interesting, but, you know, it'll help. Genetic research. I think we don't have the surplus funds to, to burn on research right now, unless it's something we absolutely need. Now I do want to... We are getting toward the end of my episode time here. But I do at least want to finish one of these contracts. We're almost done that expedition. How is our feeder here? We have seven of ten reserve, so plenty. Like us, different dinosaurs require different diets. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder in an enclosure. I'm a red meat man myself. <laughs> Okay. So far, it's fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and release our Edmontosaurus. When another contract comes up, I'm turning to you first. This dinosaur, the Edmontosaurus, was originally uncovered at a site in Canada. I'll let you guess where. The T-Rex thinks these are delicious, and who's to argue? Alright, let me just check its stats. Social's okay, probably could use another one or two. But right now we're probably fine. Well, everything else looks good. We got some new. Here's something that you might find interesting. I'm gonna decline Side on that head. one. Hmm? All right, so we now have some of these. Go ahead and extract them, and then let's get our expedition team back out there to try and get some more Triceratops. We need to get that genome up to seventy. All right. But, we are at the end of this episode, so let's go ahead and stop here for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.